uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. Uh, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R R an RFID chip implanted in them. If you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers Laban worldwide in truth and sincerity, in salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And <clears throat> the video you seen in the opening clip was of Aaron Russo. And we've heard the apostles go into this information, uh, you know, more than once. And it's relevant because we need to keep warning the people. All right. Warning them of the things that are set to come. You see, those things were revealed unto the, to the, to the prophets, man, and to the Lord's men. All right. Which have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Which is what? The spirit of prophecy, man. You see, those things weren't revealed unto all men. Matter of fact. <clears throat> yeah, let's go get that. Let's go to the book of Amos. Chapter 3. And that's something that you, you guys can't get. Alright? This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. It says, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. See, and what are the prophets going to reveal? The prophecies. All right. And it is not up for debate. You know, you had these uh, other camps with their wayward doctrine saying it's an embargo or sleeping with white women. Hey, I even heard ISUBK say you part of. America's police force, you have the, the M-A-R-K, man, was utterly madness, all right, that I-U-I-C telling people it's sin, you know, you had this guy, Nate, Bishop Nate, changing up the doctrine once again, it used to be great nations and small nations, now it's people, all right, and he's trying to introduce the CBDC, all right, as a, a a way to get out of jail, basically, you know, because when they implement this, this karagma, this thing thing, it's going to be self-evident who the Lord is dealing with. All right. <clears throat> and if you people of these other camps can, can plainly see, all right, that uh, this guy has changed up his doctrine countless times, then you need to get the hell out of there, man. What is saying? Uh, Malachi, let's get that. Right. It's going to be up to your discernment, man. Okay. Malachi chapter 3. And verse 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. You see? And guess what? It's not going to be uh, a switch up because you haven't seen the man of the Lord all right here at Great Millstone switch up on, on, on the doctrine all right you haven't seen that man okay matter of fact <clears throat> real quick what is that uh I think it's Ecclesiasticus right or Sarah let's get that you know Cause this thing is deadly serious. And the Lord is not going to have his men uh, switching up the doctrine that he sent forth. Okay. 
Yep, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 16 and verse 25. I will show forth doctrine in weight and declare his knowledge exactly. See, it's not going to be uh, you say it was this one year and then all of a sudden it didn't switch up. No, man, it's going to be declared exactly the doctrine of Yahweh by Shah, Shah. Okay, and we've been warning you. All right, we've been warning you. Are those things set to come to pass? The Lord said, new things do I declare, right? Out of fact, yeah. Let's get that. <clears throat> and that's what you're seeing, new things being declared, man. And it's so much evidence that if you shun the counsel of your high by shout shot, you're just going to be in utter darkness. That's it. This is Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. See, and how does the Lord speak? By the mouth of the prophets. All right, so the Lord has revealed the secret things. Oh, yeah, I got to go get that. The Lord has revealed those secret things unto his men. I said Deuteronomy 29. <clears throat> so those new things the Lord has declared in the planet Earth. Are coming to pass. All right. And the Lord is clearly showing you who he's with. So it behoove you people. All right. If you got eyes to see and ears to hear, get the hell away from those leaders, man. Get the hell away from that camp. Get the hell away from the ISUBK. Get the hell away from uh, uh, IUIC, man. You see? This is Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. The secret things belong unto the Lord our power. But those things which are revealed, see, belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. So those things are revealed, all right, until the service of prophets. <clears throat> it's not revealed unto everybody. That's why you had these guys switching up the doctrine, all right? And you got other guys saying, why do you always talk about the M-A-R-K? Well, that's, that's vital, man. That's one sin you can't repent from. You take it, you done, right? Let's go there. Let's go to Revelation 40, 14. You take it, you done. That's it. No coming back from it. And you had a guy, I want to say, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, the leader of HOI, Priest of Bach, say, yeah. You can you can take it out now. You said, as a matter of fact, we're gonna read it. Revelation chapter fourteen and verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, and all those things are synonymous, you receive his mark, his M A R K, his karagma. You're worshiping the image, all right." <clears throat> Are you doing all those things, man? You're worshiping the beast and his image. All right? It says, the same, see, the same, shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture, into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, see? You're going to end up <clears throat> catching a missile, man, for lack of better words. You're going to end up being burnt up by thermonuclear fire. That's your ultimate fate. Okay? And let's go to Revelation 13. Right? Let's see. You got these guys who, uh, who, who give you a good song and dance but don't go into words. Okay? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 15. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast. How did he give life to the image of the beast? Well, the beast is the, the ancient Roman Empire. We in the modern Roman Empire, Rome 2.0, right? Well, in the ancient Roman Empire, you had what? The Philabians and the Patricians, right? The Senate, right? And you can look at the, the, the way America is set up with the Republicans and the Democrats. Even their... The architecture is set up the same way. These certain roads, 
these certain state buildings. That's how he gave power to the to the, the life to the image of the beast, right? And that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-A-R-K in the right hand or in their forehead. Now you had these simple, simple ass jakes. I'm like, well, you ready to see it in your left butt cheek, right? Mocking. But the Lord plainly said in the scripture we just read, if you receive it in either hand, right, or in the forehead, <clears throat> you're going to be burnt up by thermonuclear fire. All right? You're showing your, your allegiance to this damn devil. All right? You're, you're plainly saying, I love my master. Right? What is that? Uh, Exodus? That digital all? You see? It says, and he calls of all, both small and great. Not small nations and great nations. No. Now you got the guy Nate changing it up again. Rich and poor. No, this small and great is talking about people. Rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand. I said it. Or in their foreheads, right? Let's look up that word mark. Because <clears throat> the technology is so evident right now. It's, it's, it's utterly ridiculous to come against what the men of the Lord are, are warning you of, right? Strong's G, 5480. Karagma or Charagma, right? It says a stamp, an imprinted mark. A mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as a badge of the followers of the anti-Hamashiach and his minty anti-Hamashiach or anti-Christ. Right? Anything that is also self against the knowledge of Yahweh Bashavah is an anti-Christ, anti-Messiah. Right? <coughs> it says, excuse me, <coughs> a mark branded upon horses. Now, you know, it's some physical. It's not, it's not some spiritual. No. Some physical. It says thing carved, sculpted, graven work of idolatrous images, right? You uh you bow down to this damn devil way. All right, you uh you accept his his uh digital all right. You you actually are saying that you love Esau more than the Lord. All right, you bow down. Okay. In the strongs it says a scratch or etching i.e. a stamp as a badge of servitude. See that? <clears throat> it says, as a badge of servitude, see? Or a sculpted figure, statue, graven mark. Again, something physical. All right? So you, you take this thing thing. You're saying that you love Esau, and you're going to be ultimately burned up with fire. And we're just here to warn you. All right, and we're going to continue to warn you. We don't care if you don't you don't want to hear. This ain't for you if you don't want to hear. All right? Now, you go uh, into these root words, grapho, right? Matter of fact, let's go into Because <clears throat> it's going to have your banking information, right? It's going to have all that. Karox, which is what? The actual tool, the pail, the stake, they're going to use to stick you. See, a pail or stake, a palisade. See that? Let's go into the other root word. See, these guys don't, uh, they don't study to show they self-approved, man. And they'll never go into these words. Why? Because it destroys what they're trying to uh, say that the M-A-R-K is. See, the word grapho, right? <coughs> Strong's G. 1125, it says to write with reference to the form of the letters, right? It says uh, to delineate or form letters on a tablet, parchment, paper, or other material to write. In other words, it's going to have your information. It's going to have your medical information, right? It's going to have your financial information. All right, all those things are going to be in there together, okay? It's going to have all your records, you see? 
Now, these guys, once again, they don't like looking up words. But, hey, this is only for the elect. And only the elect is going to get it. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord will has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakai Kodash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Lord willing, coming at you with another lesson. To the next time, say Shalom, DTA, and a Bible ball soon.